According to a declaration by the Civic Coalition, the third way and the left, the three groups will form a parliamentary majority with 248 deputies. This would allow the opposition to try through voting to remove law and justice from power. This would involve disregarding the provisions of the Constitution. If Mr. Morawiecki has already submitted the resignation of the current government, whether to me as senior marshal or to the newly elected marshal of the same, and gets called on by the president, then according to what constitutionalists tell me, the new marshal within seven days can convene a session of the same with one item on the agenda, a constructive vote of no confidence in the government of Mateusz Morawiecki. Such a vote could take place as soon as a week after the same meeting, that is on November 20th. I would resign if I was in Mr. Prime Minister's shoes. I would not invite anyone to join the government, due to the fact that I think the Prime Minister will not be able to form a government from the people he has. But if I had to, I would definitely invite not politicians, but experts. If the variant proposed by Marek Savitsky were to be implemented, the new government could be deprived of proper legitimacy, says constitutionalist Professor Richard Piotrowski. Passing a constructive vote of no confidence in a government that is in the process of obtaining a vote of confidence is unconstitutional. President Andrzej Duda signed the order to convene the first session of the same in Senate on November 13th. Marek Savitsky will become the senior speaker of the same. In the Senate, this function will be held by Michał Severinsky of Law and Justice. After calm analysis and consultations, I have decided to entrust the mission of forming a government to Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki. According to the Constitution, the president appoints the government within 14 days of the first session of the same. After two weeks, that is from November 27th, the head of the new government has another 14 days to deliver an expose and receive a vote of confidence from the lower house of parliament. If the parliament does not support the prime minister, then the initiative for selecting the prime minister will be taken by the parliament. The announcement of the appointment of Mr. Morawiecki as prime minister is already rather indicative of the fact that the president is already calculating his political future. According to the provisions of the constitution, the United Right government can remain in power for one more month, which means until December 11th. This does not please the opposition, which would like to come to power as soon as possible. The term of the head of the financial supervisory Commission ends at the end of November, so the choice of a successor will depend on the Prime Minister. Should the opposition decide to fast-track a vote of no confidence in Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki and elect Donald Tusk to the post, President Andrzej Duda could petition the Constitutional Court to examine the constitutionality of such an action. A constructive vote of no confidence, at least without this first step by the president, is a violation of the Constitution, meaning that the election of such a prime minister will be unconstitutional. According to unofficial information, the position of the marshal of the same will be rotated if three groups from the existing opposition take power. Shimon Hovnia would become the marshal of the same, followed by the left candidate. On the other hand, there are to be five deputy marshals of the same. Two positions will go to the civic coalition, and one position each will be given to representatives of the Third Way, the New Left and Law and Justice. Meanwhile, the Confederation will have no representative in the post.